What is up guys? Wes Cali King here back again with another commentary and today the topic at hand the Lakers but before I get into it let me just talk about the gameplay you are about to witness so in this gameplay I have a custom roster on this custom roster Dwight Howard okay the seven foot five tall beast of a man okay everybody else in this game is five foot three inches so this video is going to include Dwight Howard so let's get right into it D'Angelo Russell okay what are my thoughts and opinions on D'Angelo Russell well D'Angelo Russell is a point guard out of Ohio State he was a second pick in this year's NBA draft. So, D'Angelo Russell is six foot five inches tall. That is two inches taller than the average point guard in the NBA. In college, D'Angelo Russell averaged 19.7 points per game, along with six assists per game. And he averaged 33 minutes. What this means is D'Angelo Russell did not fully play all his games. He missed seven minutes of each game. So if he would have played those seven minutes, he could have easily added three to five more points and two to three more assists. So what does this mean? This means D'Angelo Russell is a great scorer and a great passer. Overall, a great pickup for the so a quick note on D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell's reaction time is 0.241 seconds. That is 10% quicker than John Wall. Okay, I just felt like I needed to add this little bit of information into the... So, on to my next topic, Roy Hibbert. What are people saying about Roy Hibbert? So, if you do not know, Roy Hibbert was signed onto the Lakers roster, okay? So, Charles Barkley. What does Charles Barkley have to say about Roy Hibbert? So, Charles Barkley was a small forward in the NBA quite a while back. So, Charles Barkley said that Roy Hibbert would not have an immediate impact on the Lakers. He said that Roy Hibbert was not dominant before and he will not be dominant in the future with the Lakers. So, let's take a look at some of Roy Hibbert's stats. In his career, Roy Hibbert has averaged 11.1 points per game along with 2.5 offensive rebounds and 4.3 defensive rebounds. All this and of course the 533 games. So, what does this tell me? Roy Hibbert is not a dominant player. He will, he'll get you 11 points per game plus 6 to 7 rebounds per game. So a dominant center or an elite center will get you 20 points per game as well as 10 rebounds per game. 10 or more, you know. But this tells me Roy Hibbert is not a dominant center. This is not to say that Roy Hibbert will not become a dominant center. But for now, the Lakers will not benefit from adding Roy Hibbert. So I have to completely agree with Charles Barkley. Okay, now let me get to my final topic real quick. The Lakers are in the process of rebuilding. They have nine players at the age of 22. So the Lakers will not make it to the playoffs this year or maybe not even next year, but they are rebuilding. So they will eventually make it back to the promised land. Until next time, I'm out.